Hello, and welcome to a special episode of Masters of the Forge. This is Jason, and today we have an interview with Dave from Mini Wargaming. In this interview, we talk about the Mini Wargaming website, and also his Kickstarter for his upcoming film, The Rangers Bloodstone. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back. Uh, so we just happened to get a interview uh, today with Dave Nordquist from Mini Wargaming. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Excellent. How are oh, you? Oh, so awesome. I'm so glad you could uh, join us today because you have some really exciting news uh, to share with our listeners. Um, I do. Um, I do indeed. Uh, so... But first, before we get into our exciting news, uh, why don't you give our listeners an idea, just in case they've not been paying attention to us when we say go watch Mini Wargaming Bat Reps, uh, you give them a, a little rundown of who you are and uh, who you're representing. Sure, absolutely. I am Mini Wargamer Dave from MiniWargaming.com. We've been making YouTube video YouTube videos and battle reports for close to nine years now. It started with myself and my business partner, Matt Glanfield. We have grown to about 10 employees now, mm -hmm. and we have a combination of what we do. We make uh, YouTube videos, and we also make exclusive content that we have on our website in something what we call the Mini Wargaming Vault, and that's where people get exclusive videos. They get battle reports. We cover Warhammer 40K, 30K, Age of Sigmar, Warhammer Fantasy, uh, we do Blood Bowl, we do Gork and Morka, we do those uh, special campaigns as well. We specialize in narrative campaigns where we play Warhammer 40K and other games as well, but we focus more on the narrative aspect of the game, and we do that in many, many parts and sequences. And we videotape our game on the tabletop, and we call every action similar to a sports game, so every die roll and every move made, we call, we narrate, and so we make many clips. There's about five or 600 clips by the end of it. We add music to it, and that is uh, what we do. We create that video battle report, and uh, right now we have over 4,000 videos on YouTube. Mm. We're over 230,000 subscribers on YouTube, and it's mm. been fantastic. We've been very fortunate in our success, mm. and uh, we hope to uh, continue to be doing this for a very long time. We have four studios here in Welland, Ontario, Canada, and we we speak with heavy Canadian accents, and so uh, <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm surprised that you can actually understand me right now. So, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what: I try not to listen. You know, sometimes, sometimes I, I hobby and 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 watch reports and stuff like that. But I try not to listen around my wife because she she really she's really diggity down with the with the Canadian accent. You know, so I don't wanna I don't wanna risk any any uh, lack of marital bliss. From her listening to the, to the, why can't why can't you have a sexy accent? Well, I don't know, honey. I'm sorry, you know. And <laughs> so was I supposed to be seeing things when I was reading between the lines there? Or was that the... <laughs> so so yeah, we love mini wargaming. I'm a vault member. I don't know about Jason. Are you, did, did you? Uh, yeah, get vault? yeah. I'm a vault we, member. Thank you. Yep. You know, you guys, really, honestly, thank you so much. You you helped to feed my nerglings. So. With, <laughs> One of the nurgling, you? the same nurgling that was in your your first uh, movie, your short the film. First nurgling, yes, my daughter, <laughs> yes, that that same. She had KFC that night because of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys no, are awesome. It's great. Like like I think what got me to what what I what really got me to to do the the vault membership was when you guys did the altar. No, what is it? Altar of War? No, what's it called? The chaos. Uh, path escalation, glory? hmm. Path, path, path to glory. Yeah, that path to glory was unreal because it was like a. This is what you get in the vault if you you subscribe to the vault, like this kind of thing. I'm like, okay, I need to be a vault member because this is the kind of thing I'm down with. That was so Gorka much Morka fun. Morka caught me. Oh, the Gorka Morka was so yep. good. Yep, that so caught me. So good. Every the production values have gone way up i'm and and your production values were good anyways but like you guys are really crushing it these days and uh folks should really at least give it a try give it a, give it a month and you'll be a permanent member i swear thank yeah. you thank you guys for saying that really really appreciate that um, and we we have certainly come much farther than where we started mm -hmm. it's uh it's kind of embarrassing to look back <laughs> at the old video it's uh it's 
some of the old videos that have views on them, I think it must be some old algorithm on YouTube that they just grandfathered in the videos and we're like, wow, how? <laughs> uh, but, but now, you know, like, it, as we say, we try to improve in terms of quality and our content all the time. We're constantly innovating and trying new things. And so really, really appreciate your guys' support. And uh, like I said, it's just more to come. Just, nice. This is just the tip of the iceberg. And we are, we're creating content constantly. We, we create close to 20 videos a week. Wow. That's a combination yeah. of the pairs of battle reports and uh, painting tutorials that are exclusively uh, in the vault. There are some free. Uh, we just started that mm -hmm. recently, but there are painting tutorials. We do quick tips as well. There are hundreds of those in the vault as well as, as, well as thousands of battle reports That's great. in the vault. So just, just a ton, just a ton of content. So thank you guys. Really, really appreciate it. That's great. You know, I'd love to get over. I, I called a, or I emailed a while back. I really need to get out there to do a video with you guys because you guys sound like a lot of fun and you're not that far away. It's like a five, six hour drive. It's not a big deal. And I have a buddy, Mike, who lives in the area. I think I, I think I'd really like to, to come and hang out with you guys and do a video. Um, Is his name Mike? Mike? No, it's uh, uh, Mike. Um, Mike. Mike he lives in ha Hamilton, I think. Hamilton is close to us, about yeah. 50 minutes, yeah? Yeah, so cool. I could probably stay with him, and I think that would be a lot of... Maybe we get some cross mojination going between uh, Mini Wargaming and Masters of the Forge. That might be a lot of fun. Sweet. That'd be awesome. Cool. It would be epic sauce, it would forged be... in the factory of awesome, if you guys came here. <laughs> Great. So uh, let's switch gears. Let's let's uh, let's talk about your new film. Now, your uh, you guys produced a a film called uh, Rangers Drustin Drustin Chronicles. Uh, this was uh, two years ago. Three. How long ago? No, it's uh, it was pretty. It's more recent than that. It was uh, last this past February. Oh, uh, time time is. I have no yeah. concept of time. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> just but, shy of a year. Okay. Uh, about 10, 11 months ago is when we released that. Okay. Uh, so what I did is I, uh, a year, a couple years before that, I, I was part of a film project called The Rangers as Shadow Rising. I was an actor in that film mm -hmm. with director Ron Newcomb down in Virginia, close to D.C. area. And it was a fantastic experience. The very first film that I was a part of is a fantasy film, very much inspired by Lord of the Rings. There was 140 people, cast and crew, just out of this world experience. I loved it so much. And I asked him if I could bring my costume home. So in case I wanted to make YouTube videos and he thought about it for a sec, he's like, yes, <laughs> yes, that could only be good for the name and the franchise because it's more content. So yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of trouble bringing the sword across the border, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> but uh, it's so I, you know, when I thought about making a video, I thought about, well, I don't want to just make a video and it to be kind of goofy because that's kind of what primarily what I do is I make kind of silly, goofy, really non-serious battle reports with a little bit of a game thrown in there. Soldier! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Captain Slaughter is definitely a, a very big part of my psyche. But um, So I, I thought about it. I thought, you know what, I'm going to actually do a serious attempt at making a film and maybe it can become part of the canon of the Rangers and maybe he would accept it as part of the official, this is part of the world that mm -hmm. we're trying to build. And, and so that's what we did. And with a collaboration of my video editor and cinematographer, Robert Prince, and some of the guys here at Mini War Gaming, Quirk and Steve the Mountain, they were actors in it. And mm -hmm. my own daughter, Dana, she's my own daughter. She was six years old at the time. She played my daughter in the film. We made this short film, 20-minute short film, where a couple orcs and their war band raid the village that Drewston, my character, is from, and in the process capture my daughter. So the story is my character searching for his daughter and tracking down the orcs that took her, and that is the kind of bite-sized story that you get in the Drewston Chronicles, which is actually free on YouTube. You can watch it on YouTube mm -hmm. as a about 120,000 views on it since we posted it. So it's really good. It's on par there with a, with a popular battle report that we would post. And so that's, that's kind of cool too. If you figure like it's not really, it's, there's a crossover interest with the audience. You know, people might be interested in a fantasy short film, but primarily it's Warhammer 40K. That's the main mm -hmm. um, audience viewership, right? So it's, it's cool. I got a lot of support from that. There's a lot of positive comments on the video and they said, yeah, hey, you guys going to make more? Are you guys going to do more? And, and attracted the attention of a couple producers 
which helped some initial budget for a larger film. Mm -hmm. And that happened in January before I was even done the short film. And so since January of this year, I've been writing the script and finished it eventually in July. So about seven months of script writing, just day, just nightly after I put the kids to bed, I'd be wrestling with the script and trying to make it make sense and um, tweaking and refining. And so I finally crafted a story that I could be comfortable and, and proud of and, you know, put it out in the ether. And if it, you know, I, I, I accept it for what it is, whether it be flawed or not flawed, whatever it is, I am happy with my creation, with the script. Mm -hmm. And this uh, f a friend of mine, she, there was a family party we were at and she came up to me. This is one of the days we were shooting the Drewson Chronicles. I had some uh, makeup on my face. I had some mm -hmm. bruise and, and scrape makeup on my face. It looked like I was in a fight. And it's really good makeup from Robert Prince. He is, actually has 20 years experience in the film industry. A lot of it is costume design and special effects makeup. So I actually look like I was in a fight. No, you. When, I, I'm going to say that when, 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 the, when the video starts, well, well at least when they, the first close-up of your face, like, you can't tell that's a prosthetic, that the cut on your face. It is unreal. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's definitely it's a compliment to Rob because that's his uh, that's his skill there, and uh, very happy that I had his quality and expertise and experience on the mm -hmm. set. And so I was there at this party, and she came up, and everyone was like, "Oh, Dave, what happened? Were you in a fight? Uh, what does the other guy look like?" And you know, all the, all these comments, right? <laughs> and you know, I was just telling them about the short film that I just came off the set. I didn't even have time to go home and shower. I, I just went straight to this party, and she said, "You know what, Dave? If you ever have a film that you're working on and you need a, an actress." I'd be willing to, I, I would love to be a part of any project that, that you're uh -huh. doing. Just just know that I'm here and I'm available and I'm just putting that out there. And immediately I thought, well, everything that I've ever done has always involved not tall, pretty blondes. So, because <laughs> that's what she is, right? So that's, that's what she is. She's a, and I'm thinking how I would love to include her somehow, but I have no idea. Uh -huh. uh, and then, you know, after a day of thinking about it, I'm like, okay, well, she, she can play an elf. She plays She Elf. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's all coming to me now. Yeah. And then, and then next day, I uh, give her a call and I said, "You know what? You're an elf." It didn't. It, it, you know, out of context, if you were to hear a conversation, like <laughs> Dave, you just what are you calling people elves for? <laughs> so, uh, you're you can play an elf. And she's like, "Cool, that's that's cool." Yeah. And the next Rangers film that I want to do now wasn't even thinking about making another one yet because I was just right in the middle of making the short film. Right. So I was like, "Oh, once I'm done the short film, then I, I could say that I've had my." Had, you know, desire to make a film appease, but no, that's not even, this is the start of the hunger to make more film is really what, ha what was happening there. And then it, it, it spawned from there because her husband, also a good friend of mine, is like, oh, that's cool. And I was looking at him and th this guy is, he's bald, he's big, and mm -hmm. he had this start of a beard. I'm like, you know what? You could be like a, a land pirate outlander. <laughs> Yeah, you're an outlander because you live on the outskirts of the borderlands. So you would be an outlander and you look like a Viking, man. I, I can use you somehow. And, you know, just kind of looking at this like you, I can use both you guys. And then the more people I talked to about the project, the more it exploded uh -huh. into this bigger project because originally it was just going to be another 20 minute short film. And then it became a 60 minute film, which isn't quite a short film film and isn't quite a feature film and someone suggested to me they're like well why don't you just make it a feature film it's 90 minutes then a distribution company will look at your film after they'll actually be interested in it because it's something that they can market and sell afterwards and I'm like okay well it's you know we, we have a bit of production budget here I'm, I'm really really good at stretching it and using it where it's needed. So like, people brought food, for example. Like, there was no craft services. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm cheap, because I would rather spend money on costumes than on yeah. food type of example, right? And so we did it. And so we, I ended up with 18 actors and 62 extras, mm -hmm. each one having their own unique individual costume that was either purchased or created here in the Mini Wargaming studio. Oh, cool. And everyone had their own role to play there were sets built there was a drone copter camera donated by one of the producers because he believed so much in the project That's there cool. was a significant amount of uh, production capital to start with uh, when i say significant i mean for an independent short film there mm -hmm. was 
seventeen thousand dollars, right? Like that's very that's bite that's like a, a, a tidbit of that's a that's a crumb of a massive Hollywood movie. But we're talking independent film here. We're talking yeah. like if if you have two thousand dollars and, and you're a film student, you're like ecstatic. You're like, oh, we, <laughs> no. we can make the best film in the world, right? So. <laughs> With that, and that was American, by the way, and the exchange rate ended up being 22000 Canadian, Woo-hoo. which is awesome. Like, okay, thank you for giving me an extra $5,000 because I live in Canada. That, that's fantastic. <laughs> so I was able to do more with that, right? So that's why we were able to make the costumes and we were able to b- actually build sets huh. on a private property in the country about 10 minutes from Mini Wargaming here and have control over the scenes. Mm-hmm. And it just ended up being fantastic. Just Fantastic! Everyone, there was this magic on set where people could feel that they were part of a bigger project and they were contributing to it and everyone was making it awesome together. And, and I had this rule and the rule was everything needed to look natural. So I'm not going to try to push something on you that it d- is not working. I'm going to play to your strengths. So if you can't do a British accent, but you can do a Russian then we'll do that, for example, right? Or if you're not a physical actor, but you're better with your emotions, then we'll play with that. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know how to act at all, then I'll get you to talk to somebody and I'll film you when you don't realize I'm filming you so it looks like you're talking to someone because you are actually talking to someone in real life, Mm -hmm. as an example. (laughs) Or you'll just sit sit in a giant suit and grunt. (laughs) That's right. Right, Or you don't have to look like you're scared. Just picture you're following a fly in the air and you're looking around, but really you're hearing noises of scary noise. But I'm not telling you that because I'll just add the music and everything afterwards and it'll look like that type of thing, right? So yeah. playing to the strengths of people because I, I, I want to do the best that I can to make everything look natural because that's what I find is one of the things, the stigmas about independent film and all of this is that it's not Hollywood. And so because it's not Hollywood, automatically it's like, oh, okay, well, it probably has really bad acting in it and really bad script writing and really cheap special effects and all that. That's the stigma, right? And so I wanted to break that stigma in every way possible as much as I can within my control to do so. Right, and right. so I, I feel very happy and comfortable and, and confident that I have done that. And I, I hope, it is my hope that people will that they, they can see that, they can see the hard work that went into it. And, you know, guys, I, I tell you this, because Warhammer 40K and doing the, the games, that is not my number one passion. Mm-hmm. My number one passion is creating entertaining content. And the game, Warhammer 40K, and making a battle report is the vehicle by which I do that. So I, I'm very passionate about creating a fun video for people to enjoy. Yeah. I happen to really like Warhammer 40K. And I like playing it a lot. But that passion, that underlying passion, my, my hobby per se is that, is creating that type of video for people to watch and be somehow affected by it. Somehow they, they enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And so this same passion is what drove me to make this film. It's the exact same thing. So it's the entertainment value afterwards. And so people get a reaction out of watching this movie if they are somehow moved by it, if they are somehow invigorated by it they think it's they 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 feel like they're part of the world and they feel like a a warrior and they can battle orcs like that is fantastic i feel like i've accomplished my goal in doing that and so we're doing a kickstarter right now for it and we there's nine days left currently and uh when we're talking i'm not sure when you guys are going to post this i bet by the time you post it might be just seven days left about about a week left i'll say Mm -hmm. uh by the time it's it's up um but we funded it we i set the goal for forty thousand dollars uh, and the the reason for that is to do additional post production effects and proper sound editing and design. And there's a couple more scenes that I want to add to the film, and so I wanted to I wanted to make it even better than what it was because it was about 90 percent finished. And then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna I'll do a Kickstarter for it. And in addition to all these reasons, there was a, a bit of recoup cost, and also when we approach a distribution company and they see that this film has already garnered some interest and money right. and buzz right. 
then they will offer more for it. It's yeah. kind of like the Shark, shark Tank or Dragon's Den. Mm-hmm. People watch those shows. <laughs> yeah. And they pitch an yeah. idea. Hey, here's an idea I have, guys. And they're like, okay, the number one question is, okay, so well, how many units have you sold? Oh, nothing. It's just an idea right now. Okay, that, the door is that way. Mm-hmm. Not even going to look at you, right? But mm-hmm. if they come in there like, okay, I, I've sold 100,000 units. I just need distribution help. They're like, okay, well, uh, let's fight over this guy now. <laughs> and so that's... It, it just makes sense. It's a business. It's show business, right? So they want to make money from it. They don't really care mm-hmm. what you what what it is. It could be the best movie in the world, but if you have shown no results from it, then they will be less likely to even look at it. But yeah. if it's if it you know if you if you're successful with it, then 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 it it just breeds more success. And so that's that's my goal as well. So that's that's social proof. It's physical proof that people are interested in this movie people have supported this movie and that it has made this much money and just on our own merits without their monster distribution channels. Yeah. Just, and that's the thing. Like you, you've, you've done it yourself through not even the traditional like channels either for this kind of movie. It's the Warhammer 40 K community, which this is the opposite of <laughs> kind of fandom yeah. and, and you've still got this much interest in it. So I think, I think that speaks, that should speak volumes to uh, any, any film distributor out there. Uh, and I, I really, I really hope they, they hearken to that, to that point that you just made. Um, I think folks could do a lot worse with their $25 or even more that, than uh, you know, f- help fund this film even more because I feel like, you know, someone with your passion is, has got to do a great job, right? Like it's people, people like you who actually love what they're doing and care about what they're doing. Those are the greats that are out there. And I think, uh, you know, if folks can get out there, give, give, give some bucks, pay for your, your 1080 or 1080p download, you know, and, uh, and, and fund this thing. I, I'd, I'd love to see what else you can get done in the future, you know, not just this project, but, you know, proving that you can do it and, and get doing even more with it. I think that'd be great if folks could help out with that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Appreciate your support. Now, if you, if you, if you want to shoot some extra scenes with a German Filipino fat halfling, that'd be to (laughs) burglar. That'd be totally fine. Just let me know. Cause I'm there. <laughs> you know, it's funny you should say that because there are pledge levels that allow people to be part of the film. Oh boy! Uh, and we, uh, I've already have someone who purchased a level, uh-huh. and uh, I'm. He happens to be the president of Table War. Oh, cool! Well, Doug's yeah. the one who told us about it. For some reason, I've I've been hobbying like with my wife the past like month or two, so I haven't mm-hmm. watched any videos in a little while, and uh, I didn't realize that this this was going on. It was Doug who came on last week. He came on our sh- our show to talk about uh, some of the stuff going down with Table War, and he's like, mm-hmm. "Oh, by the way, you got folks got to check out." Uh, the, the Rangers Kickstarter, there's a new Kickstarter, da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, snap. Okay. Maybe I need to get, maybe I need to get them on like, da, da, da. So it was Doug who, who actually let everybody, uh, in our group know about it. So that's great. Awesome. He, he's awesome. going to be yeah. in the movie. He didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> oh my god. He goodness. did mention it. So, I do remember mentioning it. Mentioning it. <laughs> but you know he's it's going to be fantastic because uh it's it cool in our conversations beforehand and uh, this is actually the first time publicly that i've said that mm-hmm. I, I haven't made a video post yet because we were gonna we're gonna wait until closer to the end okay. so it's, it's getting closer to the end though so i i'm gonna just go ahead and say that now and okay. uh you know through our we, we become good friends just you know talking back and forth and we've already had a relationship before that because we we're selling a lot or we're promoting a lot of the fat mats for him oh, yeah. uh, on the channel and in the battle reports. And so um, we, through talking, he was like, okay, Dave, so what do you, what do you want my character to look like? Right. And he sent me pictures of himself and he has long hair, mm-hmm. but down to his shoulders and he's got this beard. And in, in my mind, I'm thinking, dude, you, you like already look perfect mm-hmm. for this. And <laughs> right. So you, right. Like he, he could fit in this world today. Yeah. He doesn't have to wait, doesn't have to grow or anything. So I basically <laughs> said to him, all right, so here are your options. Because you have options, which is fantastic. You can shave your head and grow your beard big, be like an outlander. You can grow your hair longer, grow your beard longer, be like this scruffy guy in the woods. You can make your beard short. 
make your hair a bit shorter, be like a noble man. Like it just doesn't matter really what you do. You be like you will fit. Yeah. In yeah. your role, no matter what. He so has quite fantastic. the countenance about him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, I and he told me he's he has acting experience. Uh, he he spent some time in L.A. and so he's he's done some work already, and he has speaking. He, he's got a speaking role. He, he has lines in the movie, which is exciting, and I'm very excited to work with him in the new year. That's when we're going to be shooting the the new scenes, and so that he's one of a possible many that could participate in the movie, and he's going to be in the film. He'll have that credits, and I'm also going to include his. Mm-hmm. Is a, a table war in the credits. So the actual yeah. business, the logo, and everything will, oh. will roll up with the credits as well. That's so great. That is so great. Good to hear. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's, a, you know, it's people like you and Doug, and you know, we really appreciate you guys. Um, and everybody at table or at, or at uh, Mini War Gaming actually who promote the hobby and and uh, you know, put out put out put a good foot forward for the for the community and and help grow the community and we want to really appreciate that that uh that part of what you do um the the movie sounds great uh, i can't i can't wait to see it uh, even if you don't have any you know german filipino halflings in it i'm sure it'll be totally good uh, <laughs> uh once again why don't we give the listeners uh the the where to fours and the warehouse about how to how to fund the kickstarter yeah uh it's do you guys include links other oh, than the podcast oh, we'll, itself? we'll definitely include links as well but uh some folks right, awesome. are don't look, read the notes. <laughs> so for those who don't read, you could go to Kickstarter. If you go to Kickstarter.com and you type in the Rangers uh-huh. Bloodstone, it's the the only one. You could even search for the Rangers, and it's the only one that's live. And so it's it's pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Go to Kickstarter.com and type in the Rangers, and it, it'll be the live Kickstarter. All right, cool. And and you can get to Mini Wargaming by going to MiniWarGaming.com, and you can get your daily dose of hot sweet canadian accents <laughs> boom <laughs> all right thanks for thanks for chatting with us dave thank you guys it's been Bye. a pleasure thank you the music used in this podcast was made by Podod of the duo sublevel 3 the track is used with his permission